Therefore, when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her weeping, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. I submit to you, he was just as troubled when Martha shared with him, but now he's kind of reached. Remember, Jesus was fully God, but he was fully man. He was in human flesh. Jesus' humanity was, had friendships with Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. It, he knew the Father's will. Remember in John 5, Jesus said, I only do what I see my Father doing. And so Jesus knew the Father wanted to do something that would glorify God. And so Jesus stayed behind, and Jesus knew what was going to happen, but it was still painful because he saw his friend going through it. It's not easy sometimes when you're praying for someone, and you know that sometimes healing can be instantaneous, and other times it's a process that occurs over time. But don't lose faith in God or what God's doing. And don't try to over-spiritualize it. Like, for example, God's allowed this sickness for some, or whatever, or, or if someone dies, or God must have needed them on the other side, and he took them home. No, that's the worst thing you can say. Good people die and we don't understand it. We pray, but I submit to you also that there is a resurrection both in the hereafter, but there is a resurrection now as well. He groaned in the Spirit and was troubled. Perhaps he was also praying in the Spirit. Paul talks about this in Romans 8, that the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. There is a time where there is a, words, you just, there's a groaning. And he said, where have you laid him? That was Jesus' question. Then they said to him, verse 34, Lord, come and see. And then the shortest verse in the Bible, Jesus wept. He had compassion. He's troubled. This is his friend. This is his sisters. He's troubled. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him. And some of them said, could not this man who opened the eyes of the blind, also have kept this man from dying? If your Jesus is real, church, why is there so much anarchy right now in our nation? If your Jesus is real, church, why do good people get sick and die? Or why does this happen? Theologically, it's called theodicy. It's man's attempt in human reasoning, and atheists do it all the time, trying to reason the aspects of God, why good things happen or bad things happen to good people, why there's evil in the world, why there's even evil in nature, right? Try to understand these things. Church, if you have all the answers, why are there inconsistencies in the Word of God? You know, and, and back here there's a number error and over here, and it's like they don't understand. It's by the Spirit. We're trying to parse out literary aspects of the Word instead of understanding Jesus is the living Word. I can guarantee you, every time I prayed for someone who was sick, they never asked me how much education I had, how much I really understood the Word. They're just looking and asking for prayer, wondering, will Jesus touch me? (laughs) Makes it great, because then I can just be Bob. Bob. 